be making blackened chicken cob salad, okay? So if you're at home, just grab wherever you can from your fridge and we'll have fun. And we have my favorite chef, Chef Ruby, here with us from Chef Ruby's Food People. Good morning, Chef Ruby. Good morning. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. What are we making today? Today we're making actually one of my favorite, favorite salads. Okay. Um, because I find this particular salad is full of protein, full of flavor, mm -hmm. and it has all so many little different elements of uh, space, like taste, spices, it's really a very much a salad that is a. I, I think Ghanaians will love it. Nice. Because you know First how we, we see like all the protein. Yeah, yeah. we, we like how things a bit more flavorful. Yeah. And things like that. So today, what I brought is I've already seasoned the mm. the chicken. Okay. It has things like paprika, some chili, some nice. garlic. So it's actually very flavorful. Okay. Then I've got some grilled you bacon. Grilled, you grilled the chicken? Oh, yes, okay. yes, 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 as you can see. And that's the chicken breast. Chicken breast. Nice. It's, it's always very, when, within, when you're doing salads, because you're trying to do something good for yourself, yeah. it is important that you choose a sort of a healthy option. Okay. Because the whole thing with salads is you have a taste, you have element, you have textures in there. So there's no need to sort of be having like chicken legs and all that. <laughs> chicken wings. <laughs> chicken, wings. chicken wings. You know, in which can be a, a bit um, <laughs> sort of heavy. But I think with the breast, the good thing is that nowadays they can package them even frozen. So yes. it's a matter of like taking one season in exactly. there. And also it, it, it takes away the waste mm -hmm. and, and things like that. So you season it very well. A lot of people are like, ch chicken breasts can be dry. Okay. I don't think they can be dry. Okay. I think they can be soft and moist okay. because they're very plain. If you season it, it's one chicken that the, all the flavors can go in. Mm -hmm. And then you've got to try and get it as flat as you can so that all the spi ah. spices. So for mine, yesterday evening, mm -hmm. I seasoned it so that this morning I could grill it. So it's better to season it overnight. Oh, definitely. Okay. Chickens are always better to season it overnight. Okay. Even for your normal food, I mean, chicken love ginger, yeah. chicken love garlic, chicken like pepper. Okay. So with those three elements, then, you, then you add any other flavors you want to do and leave it overnight and you see the flavors completely different. Okay. <laughs> and then with that, we brought some bacon. Ooh. I didn't bring any just bacon. I bought some pancetta. Wow. Which is it, which is like the Rose Royce of the baking world, <laughs> <laughs> literally. So we got some pancetta, but mm -hmm. simple things: baby spinach. Okay. Uh, we got some cucumber, which yep. is nice and light. All these things are very light calorie yeah. content, so it's very good to have them in there. Mm -hmm. My yeah, favorite: cherry, <laughs> cherry tomatoes. tomatoes. I have some red onions. What would kind of onion salad do with that? Any onions? <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> my, my son would say, oh, I love onions, but onion don't love me. Because he likes to eat it, but when he, like, when you're cutting it, his eyes. Aww. So yeah, it's I, I love onions too, but I don't like cutting but them. Do you know, so you I agree with your son. Do you know work. how to actually combat that? How? You know, with the onions, you have the stalk bit where the onion grows, that mm -hmm. kind of leafy, that looks like the root, mm -hmm. and then the bottom bit. The idea is actually a lot of people, the reason why they end up crying is they cut that top bit off first. Mm -hmm. And that's where all the juices are. That ah. is the last place you should cut. Really? And stuff. So if you do, you cut it from the base. Maybe next time when I come out, bring you the onions, we look. So you cut it from the base. You cut it from the base. Make sure the, the, the root is attached mm -hmm. and then slice it. That should be your last. That will stop all this crying about. Listen, Literally. you just saved so many <laughs> lives this morning. You have no idea. That will stop all that. There is no need to cut onions and have crying eyes. It wow. is just not done. That's amazing. Because uh, my friend Maoli, he doesn't even eat onions at all because he just doesn't want to cry. And when you cut it perfectly like that, some of them obviously very fresh, very watery. But you can then soak in cold water. And then it will. And then it will, it's very, very good as well. It, wow. it takes some of that away. Awesome. Yeah, Where I, do we start with today? Because we want to see some chicken And then we salad. also got like blue cheese um, as well. And then I brought a little bit of cheddar. Okay. I, I, and I, I find the combination with the blue cheese and chicken. And, and when we do the tasting, you see, it's very, very good. Yeah. I did some red wine vinegar, okay. which I put in my old bottle of uh -huh. balsamic glaze but you, but you made this yourself i made always. this myself uh, so there's red wine vinegar there's okay. mustard in there nice. there's olive oil in there okay lemon juice is in here wow. it's a very simple type of like sea Dressing salt okay it, it's just and black pepper 
Yeah. And, and that is it. It really is not much. We're talking about clean food. This, clean. It doesn't get any cleaner than this. So, so we start with our baby spinner. And today you see me just, I washed all this and okay. I spin them. Mm -hmm. I've always said, if you love salad, you have to invest in spinners. Yeah. And you can get them in a supermarket. It's quite reasonable. And it's nice. a good thing to invest in for your kitchen. Nice. And I'm making it. And, you know, the thing is, we eat with our eyes. Yeah. And the most important thing is that the presentation is also just as good, good yeah, as, the as, as the eating, literally. So today, chef is using her hands, which she Put has some. washed. Yes. <laughs> very important to wash your yeah, hands. Yeah, she has washed. Going to dish out the onions, lots and lots of onions. Yeah. I always think, think that when you do get your hands into things, it's good mm -hmm. because then allows you because after this you have no choice you have to wash your hands yes you do have to i find a lot of people use a lot of gloves and what mm -hmm. they don't they, they just take it off and then you yeah. know you don't wash your hands so as chefs we always encourage them to actually to use their hands, their hands so that they can wash it more often because okay. it becomes irritated and then we have some cherry tomatoes nice. um so you know we're building our color very colorful our colors already mm -hmm. and it's always good to sort of have this beautiful colors wow. in your salad um, nice cob salad what people love about cob salad mm -hmm. is just that the fact that it's very colorful yeah we have some cheddar cheese and it which just smells so fresh which i i've added as like an we're extra we're in a garden right now <laughs> as an extra uh, wow, it's a lot yeah. of cheese. Okay, that is a little bit of copper. Mm -hmm. So we have that. Okay. We now got um, some eggs. Ooh, okay. Um, also, what would we do with <laughs> eggs in our salad? <laughs> so that is why I keep saying that this particular salad mm -hmm. is up our street. It has everything. You yeah, need because it's very, very much ingredients that we're used to. Wow. And no. So what I've done is I boiled the egg for eight minutes, okay. cool it down, and then quartered it. Ah. So, so I've got a chicken. Now we have our star, our star uh, ingredients. ingredients. This is the chicken. And, stuff. <laughs> and what I like to do is just make sure they're nicely ah, so that it's easy sliced. To chew. Um, so that it's also very nice. easy to present. Wow. Just beautiful. Viewers at home, if you want to do this, it's really simple ingredients, you know, get your baby spinach. I think you can get this at a supermarket for less than 10 CDs. Uh, you got your cherry tomatoes, you got your cucumbers. And make sure you're getting onions. the local ones. Uh, yeah. At the moment, there's enough people doing really good. Yeah, really, um, really good ones. Baby They're spinach really affordable. and rocket and things like that are very locally. Mm -hmm done uh, and yeah. I, I find them to even be more stronger in flavor than the ones that are important exactly yeah, and they're probably fresher as well and more um, decent for the pocket we've got now that. we have our bacon have a bacon we just want to our, be our nice Rolls Royce of bacon mm. we'll put that in there we'll put that in here Wow. And then we Ooh, have avos. It's avocado season, guys. <laughs> so anything you make I'll at home, you gotta add some avocados to it. Avos. And look at me. Ooh. I am blessed. Look at how we got lovely. lovely. <laughs> you know. So we instead of best. just having all this sort of mayonnaise and yeah. things, you know, Can use I the good fat. Yeah. The good fat, which is just great avocado, vitamin E. <laughs> um, you got that. We have that in there. And then at least that is, you know that there's no gill here. Exactly, because um, it's, it's fat that's actually good for you. Exactly, exactly. exactly wow. Exactly. This so we have is that. So full. Are we gonna put a little bit of this on, or today we, we will do that? One? Okay. And then we have the dressing, which Ooh, goes on there. Okay. And like I've always said, all in there and shake, shake, shake. <laughs> you find the recipe on the recipe card on. The, uh, my Instagram page. Nice. nice. Um, so your Instagram page again for those who may not know. Chef so you follow her. Food people. Good. And then with this, there is something about the blue cheese and when it is added to this salad, it takes it to a different place. Really? Definitely. So I, I really think that. And what I did yesterday is when I went to the supermarket is, I just got a very tiny amount. It's <laughs> not much. Bear in mind, my salad will easily do about 
four to six people yeah. and I got less than I mean 50 grams wow you know it's not something that you need plenty of, but it makes all the difference exactly it really a does you know so if you have a guest come in mm -hmm. and you just want to sort of do something different and something special then why not try something like this yeah <laughs> um to just you know that for once mm -hmm. because I really believe that any food and every food fills you up yeah but it just a matter of every now and then a sight to your palate. It's just beautiful. With something different. It's Absolutely, a sight to your palate with something, something very different. different. So we have got our <laughs> cob salad, mm -hmm. which as we always say, we are aiming for the family. <sighs> and I, I really think that we need to get to that place where uh, people have different tastes and textures mm -hmm. at home if you have the means to do it. Yeah. And this will be something that at least you give it to your family and, and it'll be a conversation piece. And it's also a great thing for a table talk, you know, talking to the kids about it, talking to friends about it. All these things, I believe it really brings power to the family. And it's some place where the family can sit together and talk. I mean, nowadays everybody is on your sort of phone all, the time. all the time. But I, I do and think. And even making it, bring the whole family together, together. To, to make it. Someone is chopping the onions, someone else is chopping the chicken. Chef, walk us through the ingredients again. Because my director, Paula, always tries to make salad and it always turns out <laughs> soggy. She doesn't even eat it herself, so we end up not eating it as well. So she, she's going to write it down. I think for me, my trick is that a lot of the time, the reason why a lot of the salads get soggy, there's two or three things. One is uh, uh, the actual lettuce is not spin properly. Ah. So if you don't have the spin and you wash your lettuce and everything else, mm -hmm. what you then do is get yourself a cloth okay. or tissue paper, so just kitchen paper, and dash dab it okay. so that you take the water element out of it. Okay. It's very important. Okay. The other thing is people over um, like dress it. Yeah. Like they put too many put oils so and all things. that in yeah. there. You're supposed to taste and eat the salad why you still have the crunch. Ah. Because there's, if you put so much oil on it, it, it might as well be palava sauce. Because <laughs> That's what it usually <laughs> tastes like. Actually. What you're doing is you're just cooking the, the, the leaves. Yeah. And a lot of these leaves, once you've got vinegar in the dressings and things, what it will do is it will cook it. Ah. It will wilt it. Because that's what vinegars and, and things do. Definitely. And the third thing is that people are not picking the right ingredients. So for example, the salad tomatoes it's a bit more firmer than your stewed tomatoes. tomatoes okay if you're picking up things like cucumber make, make sure you look for the freshest bit of the cucumber okay. like the bright in colors if you're looking for the onions this so you don't is, want to be cheap with this and go for the cheapest thing you no, see no, the no, store no. Then it i is mean even like if you're going for onions for salad you will not necessarily go for things like shallot mm. they're much more stronger and the, okay. the taste on it is too much so you, you got to, uh, I think with all these things, for me, it's all about the shopping. Okay. Learn the shopping, you suddenly you realize that, my goodness, <laughs> I can pick up things very easy. Yeah. And then also alternatives. If you don't eat chicken, you don't have to have the chicken in there. You can there. put tuna in there You can have tuna, fresh. you can have tofu, yeah. you can have something that is vegan. If you change just the chicken and the egg, you've got a vegetarian okay. version. Chef Ruby, the people like are telling me to wrap it up because they want to eat the food. Where do we follow you on social media? <laughs> Please follow us on Chef Ruby's Food People on Instagram, the same on Facebook and then LinkedIn and Twitter. We are the same Everywhere. everywhere. <laughs> If you go onto her page, you'll find all the ingredients. And of course, you can reach out to her. And if you can't make it yourself, she can make it for you. So you don't have to worry about that. So for all the Paulas out there who don't know how to make great um, salad, if you're just joining us, you can go to our YouTube page and learn how we came up with this beautiful salad that you're looking at. Don't go anywhere, guys. We'll be right back. Thank you.